Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Nur Fatiha Binti Nur Muhammad. Um, so today I will be presenting uh, on how I am going to teach simple past tense to the students. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh students. Good morning everyone. So today we are going to learn about simple past tense. So I am sure everyone have heard about this simple past tense before. And I'm sure that maybe some of you already use this simple past tense in your sentences, uh, in your stories when you want to tell, uh, when you tell stories to your friends or to your parents when uh, uh, you want to tell them something that had happened uh, before or in the past. So today we're going to go into a little bit detail about what, about, uh, what is simple past tense and how do we actually use simple past tense in our sentence. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's go into simple past tense. Okay. So first of all, simple past tense is used to describe actions that are completed in the past. So uh, to make you guys understand better, let's take a look at the timeline here. So the present is the current uh, time that we are right now. The future is the future and the past is the past. So uh, simple past tense, if you use simple past tense, um, it means that the action that we are talking about happens sometime in the past before the present, before the current time. So anything that happens before the current time. So uh, it means that the action that we're talking about happens, uh, starts in the past and it also ends in the past. So there is no progress, there is no continuation of the action. It starts and it ends in the past. Okay. So, uh, let's go to the specific time frame. So, specific time frame is actually uh, used, uh, usually people will use specific time frame uh, to indicate that the sentence that they're using is actually in simple past tense. So, some of the type specific time frame we have uh, last month, last holiday, yesterday, and etc, etc, etc. Okay. Okay, so let's move on with uh, how you want to form uh, simple past tense sentences. Okay, so before this, uh, we have learned about uh, what is simple past tense and what are the specific time frames and whatnot. So now we're going to go into how to, to form it. So there are two things that you need to know in simple past tense. Uh, the first one is regular verbs and the second one is irregular verbs. So um, regular and irregular verbs, they take different forms uh, for simple past tense. So let us go with the first one which is regular verbs. Okay. So these are the three rules of uh, if you want to change regular verbs into simple past verbs, which is the first one, the addition of ED. So most regular verbs take this kind of form. So if you want to change the regular verb into simple past verb, you use uh, you add the suffix ed. Okay. For example, want, talk, call, need, and wash. So you add the ed at the end of the regular verb to make it a simple past verb. Okay. So as you can see, want becomes wanted. Talk becomes talked, called, called, need becomes needed, and wash becomes washed. So these are some of the examples of the regular verbs that take this kind of form. Okay, now let's move on to the second, uh, second form, second form. The addition of D. So certain regular verbs, they uh, end with the vowel E. Okay, with the vowel E. E. So for uh, these kind of verbs that already end with the vowel E, we just have to add the D at the end of the regular verb. Okay. For example, dance, change, bake, believe, and love. So we just have to add D at the end 
to make it a simple past verb, to change them into simple past verb. So dance becomes danced, change becomes changed, bake becomes baked, belief becomes believed, and love becomes loved. Okay, so let's move on with the third rule of the regular verb, which is the omission of Y and the addition of IED. So you need to know that in regular verbs, uh, there are certain verbs, there are certain verbs in regular verbs that end with Y. Okay, they end with Y. Uh, and for these kind of verbs, if you want to change them into a simple past verb, we have to omit the Y and we have to add IED. Okay, so dry, for example dry, we omit the Y and we put the IED. So it becomes dry. Cry becomes cried. Carry becomes carry. Apply becomes apply. And worry becomes worry. So as you can see, all of the simple past verbs, they omit the Y, we omit the Y, and we add on the IED. So there are no Ys in here, so we have put, we have added the IED at the end. So these are the three rules for the regular verbs, if you want to change them into simple past verbs. Okay, so we are done with the regular verbs. Let's move on to the second verb, which is the irregular verb. So, you can see there are two kind of, two forms in irregular verbs if you want to change irregular verb into their simple past verbs. The first one is different forms. So, what does it mean by different forms? Okay, different forms here means uh, there are uh, most irregular verbs uh, they have different. They have the, they have different forms uh, when they are in simple present and simple past. Okay, let us take a look at the examples. Fly, draw, run, get, and think. So the the past tense of fly is flew. Draw becomes drew. Run becomes ran. Get becomes got, and think becomes thought. Okay, so from this, you can actually see that uh, the simple present and simple past take different forms. So, uh, as if you guys can still remember the regular verbs that we learned earlier, so they, the simple past tense of regular verbs actually, uh, they take the same form, it's just that we have to add the suffix at the end, like ed or ied and such. But this one, we don't add any IED or EDs or Ds. We have to memorize. So there are no rules for irregular verbs if you want to change them into past tense. We have to memorize. So all of you must memorize the different forms that irregular verbs have. So for example, fly, flew, draw, drew, run, and ran, and whatnot. Okay, so the second one is same form. Okay, same form here means, so uh, there are certain verbs in irregular verbs, they take the same form regardless if they are in simple present or simple past. Okay, for example, cost, the simple past tense of cost is still cost. And put is still put. Hit, hit, hurt. take the same form. It cost becomes cost, put becomes put. So these, also these kind of irregular verbs, there are no rules so you have to memorize which irregular verbs actually take the same form. Okay? Okay. So uh, we are done with the regular and irregular forms of simple past tense. Now let us go into the structure of sentences in simple past tense. So we have three different structures in simple past tense, which is the first one affirmative, negative for the second one, and the third one is question. 
So let's go to the affirmative sentence first. Okay. So if you want to write an affirmative simple past sentence, you will have to write the noun first, followed by the simple past verb. Okay. Let's take a look at the examples. I watched Iron Man with my brother yesterday. She drew a picture of herself. The children cried when their mother left them. So you can see here, I, she, and the children here are all the nouns of the sentences. Okay, you can see, starts with a noun, followed by a simple past verb. So you can see, I is followed by watched, she is followed by drew, and the children is followed by cried. So these are some example of sentences for affirmative simple and uh, simple past sent simple past tense sentence. Okay, let's move on to the second structure, which is the negative simple past tense sentence. Okay, if you want to write a negative simple past tense sentence, you will have to put or you will have to write did not in between the noun and the root verb. Okay. Okay, so uh, example of sentences It did not rain yesterday My brothers did not like football I did not live in Kelantan So you can see It, my brothers and I Here are all the nouns in the sentences Followed by did not So did not uh, It is followed by did not My brothers followed by did not and I also followed by did not and lastly the root verb so the root verb here is rain like and also live okay understand okay so let's move on to the third structure which is the question okay so if you want to write a question uh, a simple past tense question uh, you have to write did first in front because you want to ask a question Followed by the noun and the root verb. Okay, so did you go out last night? Did they enjoy the movie? Did you do your homework? So you can see here, uh, did it all? They all start with uh, did in front because it's a question, and then it is followed by the noun. So here the noun is you, they, and you again. Okay, and then followed by the root verb after the noun. So, did you go out? Did they enjoy the movie? Did you do your homework? Okay, so that is all for simple past tense. I hope all of you uh, learned something from uh, my teachings today. Thank you.